welcome back to Darwin Models. So in this video it's going to do a quick unboxing of the hobby design detail set for the Tamiya CBR 1000RRR, the new fire blade that they brought out last year. So to start off I'll just run through the instructions so you can see or get an idea of what's involved in it, um, all the different areas that it covers. So you've got hose clips there, radiators, bits for the top of the forks, various other bits and then you've got um, weld lines, chain. So quite comprehensive in what it covers so let's have a look at the actual parts. So I'll start off with the photo edge that's in there. So we've got a nice little name plate, there's some details on it as to the bike itself and then various other parts so I think this has got parts for the forks for the top of the forks and a few other bits and pieces so I'll cover in more detail as I go through the kit what each area uses um, ABS sensors some linkage for I think the rear brake or something like that in there loads of rivet parts as you can see there some hex nuts bits for the springs for the exhaust, although there aren't any springs in the kit. Um, radiator mesh, which is nice and fine. Um, some hose clamps and things, nicely detailed. They've done a good job of doing all these parts. Next one has the chain and the links, and then a little bit of the rear um, where the nut goes for the rear wheel and then the last one has the front and rear brake discs and again a few other bits and pieces on there it's all nicely detailed in there and then onto the bag of bits so no particular order these are the carriers for the front brake discs so if we get them open let's have a look at them so you can see that the pre-bent shape saves trying to do that. If you've ever used one of the top studio ones where you've got to bend it yourself, it's a little bit tricky. So it's nice that these are done. And then you've got the second one that has the missing bits where the rivet nuts are going to go. So that's all good. And got another one of those for the other side. What's next? All right, I've got some little rivet details in here and some re resin ones as well as metal ones. So I'm going to open and have a closer look. I need to get some tweezers so I can get in the bag. don't want them all over the bench, and certainly not at this point anyway. So, so I'm struggling, struggling to get it to focus fully because they're so small. I'm just trying to adjust it a little bit. It's not really bringing up the detail on there. So what I'll do is I'll just zoom in and hopefully that makes it a little bit easier for you to see some more of the detail. And because I've fiddled with the focus it's now going to take everything else out of focus. I'm going to have to do it all manually now, which is a pain, but there you go. There you go, focus that one. So that's one of the metal rivets. If I can get it to actually pick up on camera, the things are so small, it's not the easiest thing to show. There it goes. So that's one of them put everything back in the bag so it doesn't get lost and next one is a couple of decals for the fuel tank so although these come in the kit as well for the main kit these ones just look a little bit nicer they've um, they've got the once I get it out you can see that they've got the chrome around the edge of it and um, they're slightly embossed as well so 
it should make the overall look a little bit better compared to the kit ones and trying to paint the part that they attach to and stuff first so that's a nice touch that they put in there so again back in the back another bag of rivets so as I said earlier I'll cover all of where these go as I go through the actual build so you can see this one's got quite a much bigger head on it than the first one sort of more sort of triangular shape which I'm assuming is going to be for like body fitments or something like that where I think the kit has decals for those and then this one if I can get it open has the links for the chain in so anyone that's familiar with the hobby design chains will know exactly what to do with these. So straightforward enough on that. So there you go. That's what's in the set. Um, so a short video this time, but I hope you enjoyed it and find it useful. So I shall see you next time and thanks for watching.